gonna be doing some millet seed. Millet seed, I guess, is a nice word for duck food plot, maybe? If it was like 25 acres. Should be pretty easily done. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Aircraft just disconnected. Okay, how's it going, folks? I'm Mike with New Way Ag. Today, you've probably already seen it in the title. We're gonna be doing some millet seed. Millet seed, I guess, is a nice word for duck food plot, maybe? So we're gonna take the T50 out and we're gonna do millet seed on, I believe it was like 25 acres. Should be pretty easily done with the drones, but we will have to calibrate that seed for the T50, meaning you put the seed in, it'll open up the gate, it'll see how much is falling out and you calibrate every seed that you're wanting to spread. We are going to take just this little trailer setup. We call this a scout trailer, where we are going to use it just uh, for now. So let's get going, get the truck hooked up and get out of here. Okay, got the trailer hooked up, we got the batteries, we got the drone, we're all ready to go. Probably have to pick up the seed somewhere, hopefully at the project, if not, maybe at the customer, but we're out of here and we're gonna get some millet seed spread for the duck food plot. Got some brand new T50s out there, switching from T30 to T50, what do you think? Love them. Yeah? Love them. Let's go. Okay, we've arrived. I'm gonna go see if I can find this guy. A few moments later. Maybe a little bit of a mishap here. So this guy is a little like me, right? He has a business, has a lot going on. Okay. He forgot to get the seed. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saved it because we sprayed for a guy that works at the place where the seed is and I called him and was like, hey, I need this seed because it needs to go in. Yeah. So now we're 90 mile an hour to Berlin, Ohio to pick up the seed. Okay, we're on location, but I don't know where we're picking it up. Maybe in here? Okay, it's sitting inside there. Go. Just pull there. Yeah, they're going over and beyond. We're late to come pick up this seed, and they're just being really kind. So now he's even letting us use the skid steer to pick the drone up. Normally, I would have this already calibrated if I'm going out for a customer. All right, yeah, new material. Select large gate. Okay. Okay, it's calibrating. What it's doing is it's the seeds falling out of it, it's opening up the gate, and then so I can put, you know, five pounds an acre, and it knows how big to open the gate. No oh yeah, it's dumping it out now. Success oh, did it. Perfect. Successful calibration? Yep, successful calibration, okay. millet. Yeah. Hey, it worked, Danny. Now we gotta go spread some millet seeds. I got here just the nick of time. Yeah. All right, guys, there we go. All righty, larger. Yep, I see it. All right, so uh, we switched drivers because I wanted to build the field before we get there because literally the radar shows there's rain right over the hill, which is good if we can get the seed down in time. On location, it looks ducky in there. We got swamp water. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing unhooked. Hopefully we can beat the rain before it gets here. Ah, it's, it's all working out right now, folks. Let's get our first bag of seed thrown in there. Okay, this is 50 pounds. And then I'm gonna check the weight sensor, make sure that the weight sensor is telling me 50. I think it's pretty accurate. Let's see what the weight sensor is telling us. We're going to choose that, hit use. We're going to select the material. We're okay, right there, millet. Choose that. We're doing 25 pounds to the acre. Let's go there. This spinner. Let's go max speed. Flight speed, max speed. Height above the crop, 30. Width 30, save. 
There we go. All right, we got her set. You see that? It's starting to look pretty dark out there. Did you cover up this seat at all? No, I hope we get this done. Looks good. Okay, yeah, it's working. Come on, man, don't rain. Ah, uh, man, I don't know what to do there. Come on. I'm having to go underneath that. That. You see this power line? What a suck. Man, that thing's tall. So I'm gonna choose this field. I'm going to divide the field because this power line is super suck. Okay, now we got it. We're doing it so far, guys. It's doing it. Now we're going right for those trees. Oh my gosh, going, you see how it's going right for it? Come on, baby, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, yep, it's going up over, it's going up over. I'm just scared that they won't see those twigs. Yeah. Okay, so now it's coming down the other side. Yeah, come on, man. I almost feel like I, I have to slow the drone down so it has more time to sense it. Come on. It's still doing it. You see the seed falling down, the seed's still coming out. It is doing exactly what I need it to do, but oh my gosh. Like here, this is a dead tree. Like how is it sensing that? Like I am super impressed. It is doing it, it absolutely is doing it. Come on, don't lose connection. Aircraft just disconnected. A few moments later. Okay, so I have connection with it again. Dude, that was sketch. This is nuts landing. Yeah, I should have probably created this stuff as obstacles. I knew there's gonna be trees here, but not dead trees. I thought live trees it would see, but because they're dead, they wanted it seeded but I did slow the drone down. It's still capable of doing it. You gotta monitor it really close. Like right here, here's a dead tree. Dead tree is coming, will it sense it? It is sensing it, it's climbing. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. It, it, it is shocking how well it actually worked. Tell you what, DJI, you, you did it, DJI. The seed is falling. Oh my gosh, so nice. Oh my gosh. Right over the dead trees. I don't know what to say other than I'm I'm impressed. I use these drones all the time, and seeing those suckers that no, like see the trees climb up over them, dead trees doesn't matter. Radar is so good, it's sensing it. Absolutely love it. This hadn't been a challenge. I mean, this is the hardest thing I've done in a while. There's no recovery there. No, I mean it's in the water. Like we can't put this down. We're so screwed. Oh my gosh, okay, let's give a recap. That was the craziest drone flying I've done in a long time. Like relying on the radars to like 100%, like it gives me goosebumps. Oh dude, the drone would go at dead trees and I'm like, are you gonna like do your thing? Because I don't wanna interfere. And it would get to those dead trees and it just buck up over. Now I'm telling you guys, that's probably not a good idea if it's your very first time flying these drones, but it's showing you guys that the equipment does work. The technology is absolutely mind blowing. But the other challenge is I had that power line out there for the first time. I thought it's just going to hop up over it because it's not going to be a tall one. I was wrong. It was really high. So I would drop it down and go underneath and then it would go back up to its 20 foot altitude and then keep spreading. I'm a little fired up because that is the wildest thing I've done in a long, long time. And I'm impressed because when I tell you guys this is the best equipment, I put it through its paces to know that it's the best equipment. So if you guys want the best equipment, you gotta get the DJI drones. Get a hold of us. Newwayag.com will get you the drone. We'll teach you how to operate it. A duck food plot. We just seeded that thing over sketchy trees, power lines, in the back, swamp area. There's no other way to seed this stuff. And we just did it with drones. It's the future. I'm telling you guys, super impressed. 
that's all I got for you guys here. I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next. Tomorrow we have an, a, a demo where we show how these spray drone. Cameraman, <laughs> why are you looking? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to put my seatbelt on. <laughs>